Fatigue in multiple sclerosis is a monster. It's literally the most common symptom in MS, the leading cause of loss of work in MS, and arguably the least understood symptom. In this video, I'm going to share with you how we beat MS fatigue. So don't turn away because that starts right now. Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between clinic visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today, I would like to discuss fatigue in multiple sclerosis, the most common symptom that we see in the disease, and arguably one of the most disabling. It's also very frustrating to me that Patients can be treated for their MS, meaning they're taking a disease-modifying therapy to slow their disease down, and yet their quality of life is really low because fatigue isn't adequately addressed. So in this video, I want to walk you through my thought process in a comprehensive approach to beating up on MS fatigue. Let's jump in. The first thing that I want to assess is quality and quantity of sleep. Many people impacted by MS have difficulties with sleeping either because they have sleep apnea, or they have restless leg syndrome, or they have spasticity or neuropathic pain that wakes them up, or they have a bladder that wakes them up to run to the bathroom a couple times at night. The point is, there's lots of reasons in the setting of MS that your sleep might not be awesome. And if it's not awesome, that's gonna really cut our legs out from under us. Before we even wake up, we're starting the day off disadvantaged from an energy standpoint. Spending some time and energy assessing sleep, looking into sleep disorders and treating them if they exist, is a really important foundation for improving energy levels in MS. The second thing I want to consider is nutrition. If you're living off fast food and heavily processed and fried foods and soda pop with caffeine as your nutrition, you're making your life harder. You're making your fatigue worse. And it's been my experience having delivered MS care now for a little while to a bunch of people, that if a person impacted by MS cleans up their diet, if they avoid heavily processed foods and sugar-laden foods, fast foods and soda pop, they, they notice big changes. Specifically, their energy improves. And if you're listening to this and you don't believe me, try it out and see what you find out. You might be shocked at the improvements that we can see when you clean up your diet. This is also an opportunity to talk about upping your water game. Dehydration contributes to fatigue, and so we don't want to let that happen. Make sure that you're drinking a large glass of water with each of your three meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then try to squeeze in a glass of water between breakfast and lunch and between lunch and dinner. That's going to up your water game. It's going to help you with your energy levels. Try it out. Real quick before we go on, do me a favor. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. It's free, and it helps teach the YouTube algorithm that you really like this content, and that helps push it out so more people can learn and up their MS game. Thank you. The third thing that we should think about are levels of activity. If you have a sedentary lifestyle, you're going to have lower energy levels than if you're physically active. That's a fact. And if we can help develop behaviors where we're exercising as part of our lifestyle, we will increase our energy levels. Now, it's easy for me to tell you to go exercise. It's hard to go home after a long day of work and do anything but sit, and I respect that. But the bottom line is, if we're gonna live our best life despite having MS, and in specific, if we're gonna combat fatigue, we really do need to commit to movement and to exercise as a part of our lifestyle. So if you're listening to this and that's not part of your armamentarium, I want you to consider adding it in. Number four, we need to spend time and attention thinking about comorbid conditions which can contribute to fatigue. In English, I mean you have another medical condition which also contributes to making you tired. And I see this a lot in MS. The leading comorbid condition is undertreated depression. And so if you have some depression and it's undertreated and not adequately addressed, that will bring down your energy levels big time. But here's the good part. If we treat your depression, if we improve your mood, it will also improve your energy levels. And so that's an example where we really wouldn't want to leave that unaddressed. Other cardiovascular risk factors, for example, need to be addressed, like high blood pressure, which can also contribute to fatigue. 
We need to look at the endocrine system and make sure your thyroid's not out of whack, which could contribute to fatigue. We need to make sure that we're not just assuming that it's all MS-related pathologic fatigue because oftentimes nature's a little too generous and we want a multi-pronged approach. Number five is to address polypharmacy. Polypharmacy is a doctor word, which means you're on way too many meds, or very specifically, it means that you're taking five or more medicines a day. And many, many people impacted by MS are on a lot of different medicines because they have lots of complicated symptoms. But polypharmacy, being on too many meds, can also contribute to fatigue. And so I think it's very appropriate at every single visit with your neurologist to scrutinize your med list. Is there anything on this list that we can take away that we don't need anymore? Is there anything on the list that we could lower the dose and maybe reduce side effects? Trying to streamline your med list is a really important step in trying to optimize energy levels. There's also a role for prescription medicines to help with fatigue. And medicines like Modafinil or Armodafinil, trade names Provigil and Nuvigil, medicines like Adderall, Ritalin, can be very, very helpful in MS fatigue, specifically cognitive fatigue and the overall pathologic exhaustion feeling, the pathologic fatigue that we see. These are prescription medicines and you need to work with your doctor to dial them in and to make sure that they're not causing their own set of side effects like keeping you up at night. But very often, using these medicines can optimize someone's energy during the course of the day, making them more effective both in the workplace and at home. If you'd like to learn more tricks and tips to up your game in MS, click the video that's on your screen right now. Until my next Monday morning video or my next monthly live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.